Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. If you need to connect to Teradata, which data source will you use? So for SSIS, what we have seen that in, uh, if we go and uh, take a look uh, in the providers, what we have here in the I'm in the data flow task right now, and I'm going to the sources and uh, see if uh, there is any source what we have for Teradata. So right now I do not see anything for Teradata here. We have ADO.NET source, we have uh, um, CDC source and uh, ODBC and OLADB and all that. So let's uh, get to the ADO.NET source. So ADO.NET source, if I try to configure it, uh, what type of uh, uh, connectors I have it. So I'm gonna take a look and I, if, if there is any uh, connector for uh, Teradata is available. So let me show you here. R right now what we have here SQL uh, client data provider and these are the list uh, of the Terra uh, uh, providers uh, what we have here for .NET provider and we have uh, also uh, the OLADB uh, providers for .NET. So right now we do not see, we see for Oracle OLADB, uh, Microsoft OLADB for Oracle uh, and we do not see here anywhere uh, for Teradata. So what we can do, we can download uh, .NET provider for the Teradata and then once we install that one, you will see that, that one here in the list uh, and uh, that's how we can uh, use uh, uh, that con uh, provider and uh, connect to the Teradata. So our best is uh, download the .NET provider for uh, uh, for the Teradata, install it. Once it will be installed, we will be using ADO net uh, source uh, to, uh, to connect to the Teradata. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.